Hello and welcome to the Malaika Writes channel. My name is Malaika Writes and today I'm going to be showing you three books you shouldn't read and three books you should read. So I'm just thinking of starting this, I don't know, call it a mini challenge, something that where I give you three books that I just didn't like or books I think you shouldn't bother reading, books I've read so that you don't have to basically, and three books to replace these books with. So the first book that I'm going to say you should not even bother reading is Starcrossed by Josephine Angelini. This book. There are so many words to describe this um this story but the one i will describe it with is i can't even describe it with one word it has to be a sentence it could have been great but it wasn't that's basically what this book is it was a bit disappointing brilliant storyline as far as having two characters who um become physically um, injured when they're together. Like there is actual pain in being together. You would think that would be an incentive to not be together, but no, it isn't. Um, these characters also make use of a trope that I can't stand. And I didn't mention this in my last video about tropes. I absolutely cannot stand. But the trope they make use of in this book is the we might be siblings or closely related, but we still are attracted to each other. So old sweet home Alabama, that trope. I can't figure out why this trope is appealing, why we continue to use it, why people even remotely write things in line with that. There's the friend zone and then there's the family zone. The family zone is one you never get out of. I don't understand why we continue to do this. You, if there is even a mere suspicion that you're related, all attraction should flee. I feel like that's just natural. Um, but for some reason, this book said, no, we're going to go with it. Um, I don't really think you should bother with this book. I really, <laughs> I mean, it had the potential. So if you want to disregard my advice for any of the books, I think this will probably be the one that you should disregard my advice on because it was just... It was a, it was disappointing because it got your hopes up and then dashed them dramatically. So if you want um, to sort of feel what it's like to be in a toxic relationship with a book, Starcrossed is for you. So the second book that I have on this list that I don't think you should bother reading is Angel's Blood by Lanili Singh. So this book was like being in a roller coaster with no satisfaction. It was a book that felt too fast and the reward that we were supposed to be rushing towards didn't pay off. So it was a massive disappointment, you know, because not only was it obvious what the outcome was going to be, I mean, there was I had zero anticipation. I knew exactly what was going to happen and it even happened the exact way I thought it was going to happen. There's one, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. So it's really difficult for writers to write things that nobody has ever seen. So that can be forgiven. However, when you do it the exact way that people are expecting you to do it, there's zero fun there. And it's, it's just not satisfying. And I don't, you know, for me, the pacing was the worst part, but the storyline was not that great either. But it's forgivable because it's one of those romance sort of, uh, it's supposed to just be really flash fiction, but the pacing was jarring. 
So I would say don't bother with the book. Just don't bother. So third book that I don't think you should bother with and I think everyone will agree with me on this particular book. I mean for the other two some of you might be curious. You might say well Malaika that's your business. I'm going to read them and form my own opinion which you are welcome to but I think this particular third book most people would say yeah there's no point in reading this particular third book. So the book in question Fifty Shades of Grey. Don't bother. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not even going to try and explain. I'm not even going to say why. Just don't bother. Right, so now that we've gotten those out of the way, the three books that I want to introduce you to are books that will replace those books. So the first one is The Secret of Crickley Hall by James Herbert. This book was a brilliant read. The suspense, amazing, characterization, top notch, and it actually made me afraid. You know, Stephen King is brilliant at what he does and he's one of the few people that can make you actually afraid in a book. You know, it's it's difficult to make someone feel fear um, on writing. It's a lot easier with film because you have lighting and all that stuff. But this was a brilliant book, well written. I was so invested in the characters. This is a book that is worth reading and a perfect replacement to the other three that I've just showed you. So the second book that I have to introduce you to is Journey to the River Sea by Eva Ibbotson. Ibbotson. I think I'm saying her name wrong, but this is the book. A brilliant book. I think this book is, it's a modern classic. It's, I think I've studied this book before in school. I think that the first place I came across this book was at school. It's, a, it's just astonishing. Honestly, the characterization was well done. It's such a simple tale, but it really grips you. And it's not that big of a read. You can knock it out on a train journey or maybe just an evening, but it really is a heart-wrenching read and you really root for the character. That's part of what makes a really good book, when the characters just touch you and they never leave you. And this is a book that does that. So the third and final book that I have to introduce you to is a book that I... It, it's haunted me for a very long time and this is A Girl is a Heart is a Half Form Thing sorry by um, Miss McBridge I can't say her first name so I'm just gonna call her Miss McBridge McBride not McBridge <laughs> I can't say names but this is a haunting book I mean I was blown away by the storytelling you know it was a book that it challenges you. It's not an easy read, um, both because of the subject matter and the way it's written, but it is a very rewarding read in the sense that it's a well told story. I wouldn't say it's rewarding in terms of its outcome because its outcome is one that you just didn't want. Um, Unlike um, Angel's Blood, where I knew what was going to happen and I was disappointed because it happened exactly the way it was, it was going to happen. In this book, you also kind of know what's going to happen, but you dread it. You really don't want it to happen. You really want the character to have a great outcome and it just isn't going to happen. You know, and that's a little bit of a spoiler, but that's how much this book has haunted me. So I really hope if you read nothing else, get this one. A Girl is a Half-Formed Thing. It's a brilliant book. So that's the end of my list. Let me know if you like this little um, thing that I do where I kind of give you three books that you shouldn't bother with and three books to replace them. I could, you know, keep doing this. So just let me know what you guys like and I will continue. 
so thank you very much for watching this video I hope you liked it um, if the books I told you to avoid were some of your favorites then um, I'm sorry that you like such a book and <laughs> Um, I hope that the books I've given you as a replacement uh, will entice you um, into making better decisions. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I hope that you really, you know, consider the books that I've given you. I, If the books that I said to avoid were your favourite books, then so be it. But give the other ones a try and let me know what you think in the comments section. Let me know... Um, how you found them. You can suggest books that you would like me to read and review. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a lovely day.